PD, uh, pencils uh, down. PD. PD, pencils. <laughs> what a ramble. What PD. a ramble. A ramble. Mm, 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 ramble 407. Mm, 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 All right, so my question for you, I teased this before we started. Yeah, Eddie. you did. Right before we started, you teased me with it. What's the official ramble? PD or pencils down? When I when I said PD, when I, when I went, was that it? Did that do it? I think as soon as you pucker your lips. It's it. That's I think even before a breath comes out, when the intent of a P is almost said. It, ramble 407 has hit the. Has, that's that's, that's the how you end it. Like if it's if it's like in the Olympics and there's just that photo finish of just sticking your it's nose over, it's, it's just your the, chest. It's your chest. It's just like the, our boy Noah did with the chest. Right. Like winning with the chest first, baby. Right. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Winning at them us. woke Olympics. No, I can't watch them. They're woke. <laughs> By the way, that Algerian fighter is ranked fifth in the world. So if she were really a dude, just unfairly dominating, wouldn't she be number one? You think? Wouldn't and she, not, and wouldn't not she lost to what five other chicks at some five point? Five other women at some point in her career, she would just be undefeated. You fucking, oh my god! You massive loads of shit, all of you. That's why we're never gonna do Patreon. Is we're not gonna because we, then you just end up having to fucking bow down. Well, we were talking moron. about that. On for yeah. text, that's become the problem. To yes. anyway, I was thinking the problem with comedians yeah. is because they've all become so beholden to the oh, subscribers. Oh, they've taken themselves far too seriously now too. The the ones who pretend they're political have taken themselves way too far. They all think now. they're they're uh, uh, spouting off some sort of knowledge and insider right. info that right. they like. What do you know? Who do you know inside the White House has given you leaks? You fucking dipshit. I've been hearing that. Crooked Joe is going to work his way back into the nomination and get the debate. That again, he's going to well, debate me. And the problem he's, is comedians are now make money off their Patreons or their subscribers, their followers. And so now they're beholden shit. to fucking give them a confirmation bias as much as possible. Whether they believe this shit or not, but now they got to believe it because their rent so depends on it. Comedians that do podcasts for money have and basically become, politics. and they're talking politics. Have basically become political pundits. That's and, all and, they are, and and they're not. Even, they're they're just saying what they what they think their dipshit listeners yeah. want to hear because they can't have their dipshits disagree with them and leave oh, and it's not over, pay them baby. anymore. It's oh, there goes rent. There goes rent. Otherwise, father. how do you get on the RFK Junior train? There's no other way. Jesus Christ! At Holy any other shit. point in history, Holy every shit. single comedian would be lined up doing RFK Junior so, jokes. Uh, let's get ahead of this, Roseanne. I was babysitting <laughs> Jean Benet Ramsey. <laughs> Like that's an I wish. All right, so let's get ahead of this. So it's so I, I I you know I actually had AIDS, uh, and I thought you know what, let me fuck this kid Ryan White and see what happens. Let me get ahead of this. We'll blame it on barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking. Fuck else? So if you're a fucking comedian sticking up for RFK Jr. at this point, yeah. What are you? What are what you? are you? It's, you're you're a hack. Truth to you're you're a paid hack at this point. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, by the well, I don't. Jesus, almost. I almost took a big shot. Oh. But our own paid hack is not here today. Oh. <laughs> All right, Cody. Damn it. Look, it's. I think the worst thing that could have happened happened to alt right Cody is Kamala Harris picked. She picked someone as her running mate. Yeah, Eddie, that I think are more of in this country than we realize. And that is the progressive redneck. Yeah. And she picked him. And my whole, dad's a, my dad is a progressive redneck. There it is. And not I don't think people realize how many there are out there. And I think it was. But a, is it is it truly progressive to want to make sure well, kids no, have school lunch and and, and and little right. girls have access to uh when, tampons tampons when, when you listen to what the other side says absolutely this is sadly progressive that's sad that's a progressive stance right when you listen to what these other fucking dipshits these make america grand make, make america great again stupid piles of human shit when you hear what they say you're like god damn so i guess lunches at school is progressive now i guess yeah. that's not progressive feeding school children it's america if, if a 12 year old gets pregnant she should have the kid that's she the american the baby's america if these kids that's america these 12 -year if these 10-year-olds get shot up at the cafeteria, I ain't nothing we can do about it. It's just gonna happen. Get over it. You just gotta it's get just over gonna it. Happen. It's just gonna happen. Fucking, Fucking idiots. Morons. Fucking morons.
I think cutting down the tree. There's a, I think a a helicopter is hovering right outside my window. Oh, they found somebody. They found somebody, boy. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fucking, uh, the the, the gardeners are here. Is Alt-Right Cody on the run? Is that what it could be? Maybe, maybe. (laughs) Oh, fuck. I know he was trying to keep what's-his-face in power down in uh, Venezuela. He was trying. What happened there? I didn't even see the news. (laughs) I don't. I don't know. I just know that he lost oh, by a lot of votes. Yeah, yeah. And but he's, he's trying not to he's leave. Still in there. Yeah, Cody's just making sure that this guy stays in. He's Cody's global be... now. Cody's global. Were... I don't know oh, if well, the Ramblers all know. Right. That was all right, Cody. Right. That was all, all right. right. Uh, that all right shadow reaches, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cody is worldwide. It, it, he's bad. He's nationwide. He's bad. He's na- now, let me. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, Eddie. 407. <laughs> what are we? Fucking five minutes, 50 seconds in. Mm. Let's do it. If you know mm. the words, the world, this is a world's podcast. So if you know, if you're in the world and you know the words, <laughs> well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed that I set my sights on Monday and I got myself undressed. Everyone, I ain't ready for the altar but i do agree there's times when a woman sure can be a friend of mine well i keep on thinking about you sister golden hair surprise and i just can't live without you can't you see it in my eyes and i've been one poor correspondent and i've been too too hard to find but it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind Mm. everybody will Mm. you meet me in the middle will you meet me in the air will you love me just a little just enough to show you care well i tried to fake it i don't mind saying i just can't make it and then we just need bum 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 wah, wah, wah. that's all we need now there it is ramble four o's oh, what a ramble overtime we've already gotten so Eddie. good with the new Isn't format it? look at the new with format the, look, at, look how pretty we are look at this just fucking we great. ditched the old shit it's just ditched straight it. in your face now ditched it fucking ditched. we Dude, streamlined I, <laughs> streamlined it can i tell you about my trip to fucking saint Charles, Missouri. Yeah, let us know. Suburb of St. I don't even know if it's a suburb, it's just a city that's like kind of close. I don't know what it is. I know Lewis and Clark began their expedition. That's where they started. That's where they started. And I saw the path. And my first thought, that's just <laughs> how many Native American women were me too during that? Oh, expedition? dude. The whole thing <laughs> was just a as a me too tour. It was a me too tour. From there to the Pacific. It was a me. <laughs> the Lewis and Clark Me Too Tour. <laughs> that's all it was. All right, we're, that's a title. Lewis and Clark was a Me Too Tour. <laughs> to the Pacific. There to the Pacific. Is. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> they just Me too the shit out of the Whoever West. Whoever they could. Whoever they could. Whoever they could. Whenever they could. So uh, there I was, and uh, man, so okay, getting there, dude. Yeah. Uh, so I my show was uh, Thursday night was the first show. Okay. I had to do TV, like Good Morning St. Louis or some shit. Right. Thursday, great time. Wonderful, had a great time. We had a wonderful time. Everybody that loved huge it. ratings, huge ratings, ratings through the roof. Was there. Yeah, they had to keep people out. So many people were trying to get in. They had to turn people away at the door. It was a horrible thing. Um, so I'm doing <laughs> Good Morning. <laughs> I'd uh, say whatever. I get there. That's Thursday. Yeah. So I'm think so all the flights, no flight got me in at like five in the morning Thursday. Obviously. Sure. sure You're going sure. west coast to east coast. That ain't no, happening. No red eye. So I no, had to no. leave the night before. Yeah, yeah. And I left here at like six PM and then the plan was I get to Phoenix at seven. Okay. Eight forty five is the flight out. Yeah. Sure. To St. Louis. Get to St. Louis one in the morning. Late Wednesday, early Thursday morning. Right. We're flying to Phoenix. Okay. And everything's great. And then the pilot, all dude, he goes, we're going to prepare for our landing in Phoenix. And then it's like beyond turbulent. 
Like I did I like I was like, oh shit, we're not we're gonna fucking die. What the fuck? It was fucking insane. <laughs> and then and then the turbulence ends. Yeah. And I'm like and then the woman who was I was in the aisle seat, then yeah. the w- middle was empty. The lady in the window seat was like, We're not going to Phoenix. I'm like, What do you mean? And she's like, Oh, I live in Phoenix. This is that we're not descending anymore. I'm like, What the fuck? And then right after she said it, the pilot goes, Okay. Uh, there's a horrible thunderstorm in Phoenix. We were going to just circle until it was over, but we don't have enough fuel. So wow. We're going to have to land in Tucson to refuel and hope that the storm ends. And then the whole flight is like, oh, shit, because like maybe 10 people on this fucking flight were staying in Phoenix. Right. They were all connecting. And they're like, oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. And I'm looking at the watch. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You're not oh, getting fuck. to St. Louis. I ain't getting to no St. Louis. And then so it's now like six something. And now it's seven. And they're like, okay, we're still waiting on the fueling. I'm like, fuck. And I asked last night, like, so how long is Tucson to Phoenix? Like 20 minute flight. I'm like, okay, come on, baby. Come on. Right. Seven, seven oh two. We're getting ready. Right. We're on the runway. I was like, we're going to fucking make it. I, I'll get there with just enough time. To get there. Get the right. Call. Right. Because I apologize. It wasn't 845. It was 817. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're kind of close now. So I'm like, okay. Uh, that's what, It was 817. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're on the runway for 20 minutes. We don't leave. And now it's like 730. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck Dude, me, fuck that's me. tight. We land in Phoenix. And they start rattling, like, if you're connecting to Dallas, Chicago, Miami, you've all missed your flights. They named, like, eight Indianapolis. They named, like, eight cities. Right. They're like, we'll give you hotel vouchers, and we already booked you on the first flight out of here tomorrow. They didn't say St. Louis. So I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I fucking haul fucking ass. So I, I'm in, I'm in uh, Terminal D at the Phoenix airport. Okay. That's where I land. My right. flight's out of Terminal C. Ooh. And I'm like, fuck! Ooh. <laughs> I'm just racing. Ooh. I get to term- I get to my gate, and it's empty. And I'm like, mother fuck. I was like, well. And then there's just a, a guy and a girl who were taking the pad, doing the boarding, right? They're right. still there. And I run up, and I look, and it's empty. And I'm like, shit. And the guy goes, were you on the St. Louis flight? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I go, what do I need to do? He goes, it's still here. I was like, oh, God. He goes, he goes, you're it, man. And I'm like, oh, shit. And then oh. I'm paranoid. Like, am I going to have to check my luggage? Because I just had my carry-on. But I thought right. at this point, it's full. And he goes, well, there's about 170 seats on this plane, and about 50 of them are taken. I'm like, he goes, you're going to have a whole row to, row to yourself, man. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Wow. Man. Fucking crazy. Made the flight. And then, like, it was uh, – and then on the way back – I was like, so my flight was supposed to leave Monday at 6 o'clock at night. Sure. And get here at 10 o'clock at night. And I'm like, man, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. So I said, fuck it. Let me go stand by. So I showed up at the airport at 430 in the morning and just did the stay. And I was able to get on the first flight out. Fucking couldn't believe it. Fucking. Ooh. And then here's the biggest one, Eddie. Okay. You think that's that that's a miracles enough. Right. Miracles enough. Sure. Should I have been if only you believe like I believe, baby? <laughs> we give by. I mean, right? Right. Right? Right. By the way, underrated finger blast song? If I think it's, it's an honorable mention. At, me. at worst, it's <laughs> so, an honorable mention. Because I know they intimate Eaton Poon in that song. Right. Right. But Which I technically think, will disqualify you from finger banging. From finger, but I still think. I still think. There's a, there. That's a finger bang prelude to the Eaton Poon, right? With that song, right. you you get in there, you give him a whiff, make sure it's not too bad, <laughs> then you, then the tongue. But if right? you go in, you're no longer finger banging, so that disqualifies you. Right, but at least you can start finger. That's you right. Can start. Right, think, it's you an honorable mention finger bang song, but I think it right. leads to far too much. But right. It, because if you go outside the parameters of a quote-unquote yeah. finger bang, then yeah. it's no longer it's a finger bang. Finger. That's why Michael S. Miller, he finally came around. Prince cannot be there because you yeah. go too far with Prince. You go too far with Prince. That's you guaranteed home, lay. You, That's guaranteed, guaranteed home run. Right. That's a guaranteed home You're rounding run. the bases multiple times. Oh, God. With you, Prince. You, 
You hit for the cycle with. Me. We're talking about just a finger banger. Just That's a it. Finger banger. That's Anything it's more than that, it doesn't specific. qualify. <laughs> Lionel Richie, so many finger bangs. So many. Al Green, Marvin Gaye. You're 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 creative. you're going children too far. You're you're out of the realm right. of the finger bang. Children had been created. <laughs> Not many people are slamming it to hello. No. I'm sorry, but you're finger banging. You're finger banging. You're finger banging to hello. I don't think you're getting laid with hello. No. That's just me. No. So, I don't think you're getting oral no, with hello. No, 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 no. Oh, God, no. God, no. So I'm, I, I mean, I'm in Missouri, okay. and they have something that I. I, I see sometimes on the road, and every time I see it, my heart lights up a flutter. Okay. Half price books. Did they have a half Woo! price books where you grew up? No, there isn't one. No. I, I know Dallas. of the store, but there isn't one in Virginia. Oh, God. That I know I had of. one in Dallas, and that was just my baby. That was my jam. It was my everything. And I found a half price books. I was walking around, I'm like, oh, fuck. So I go in. And I happened to ask, I was like, do you guys have, let me, let me get it real quick. Okay. Do you mind if I, no, I get it. Go for it. You, you do what you have to do. My Legend of Zelda pajamas. Dun, 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 dun. Fucking Legend of Zelda jammies Ooh. on. We do this the right way. Yeah. You get comfy for the ramble. Yeah. For fuck. Yeah. So I go in and there's this author I like a lot named Greg Tate. Sadly, he passed away, but he. Yeah. Really good writer, a lot of essays on on uh, black culture. He would, would sure. read records, do a lot of hip hop sure. talk, and he had he had a book called Flyboy in the Buttermilk that collected a lot of his writings. That thing's right. like two hundred bucks on eBay. Wow. I was like, Fuck. Well, let me see what they have. I go to Half Price Books. Do you guys have Flyboy in the Buttermilk, Greg Tate? And I'm like, No, but we have a store in Ohio that has it. They can send it here. And I'm like, Well, I live in California. We could send it to your house for three dollars. I was like, Okay. Okay. Well, how much is the book? Four ninety nine. Wow, that's way more than half price. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. That's. It should be a hundred dollars. Two what? Four dollars and a two hundred dollar on fucking eBay. Did you flip it? Did you get two of them and flip one? They didn't have another one. I would. Oh, have. read it and flip it. Read it and flip it. Read it and flip it. And then so I go, I go, you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. And one of my favorite animated things I've ever seen in my life was this animated short called The Running Man, which aired on Liquid Television. Remember Liquid TV on MTV? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was on that, The Running Man. And so I've always been looking for it. And it's on this... Um, it's on this collection called Neo Tokyo, which okay. is a DVD that's anywhere from 100 to 130 on eBay. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so I was like, I thought, you know what? I got lucky with my Flyboy and the Buttermilk. Yeah, yeah. Don't Any press the luck. You, Don't press yeah. the luck. But I Don't did. Press your I like, Do you guys of course you did. Do you guys have Neo Tokyo? She goes, no, but we have a store in Oregon that has it. And I'm like, hmm. what's it going? $25. $25. Bucks. Dude, I think I think you've. It you got need here to, today. Ugh. Read me, it and me, flip it. it. This is a DVD. Watch it and flip it. Okay, but uh, Eddie, here's where it gets crazier. Here's where it gets crazier. Unopened. Sealed. I was like, Get what the fuck? The fuck? As much as I love, I may never open this fucking thing. Do they have another one? No. Fuck. How crazy is that? How fucking bonkers is that? Dude. Seal, dog. I don't know if I, I think I should just save up and buy it for a hundred bucks on eBay and just keep this motherfucker. <laughs> buy a used, Jesus Christ. Wow. If the, open, if the opened ones are 130 on eBay. Sealed. God damn. I wonder if they have old retro video games. <laughs> they do. Oh, I was there. Now, those, sadly, they kind of know what they're worth a little bit. Uh, motherfuckers. Because I was looking. Oh, was I looking. Mm. Um, but I'll, and I have something else I have to. I'm very ashamed to admit. Okay. I, 
What? 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 I was eating lunch in St. Charles. Okay. And a song came on the restaurant. Uh -huh. And I was like, I really like the song. And I was like, oh, what have I done? Oh, no. I can't believe I dig this song. It Who sings feel... it? Ted Nugent? No, thankfully. But no. <laughs> it's not as bad as him. It's not the Nuge. Think... No, it's not the Nuge. It's the next step. And is it worse than... 922 minus 611. Oh, okay. All right. We're in this I would area. say, hmm. and it, this is a terrible song. Yeah. But I found myself enjoying it, and I'm very upset. And then I found out what it was. I was like, no, I can't. I can't. Are these times contagious? <laughs> Collective soul. Have oh. I got a long way oh. to run? I was like, what am I doing? Enjoy Dude, this. that's right up there with Savage Garden. Like, what are you it's doing? It's right. Th no, give me Savage that's, Garden over Collective it's Soul. The right. Because Savage Garden never pretended they were a southern fucking rock band. That is so true. Give me, give me Savage Garden. They just pretended Garden. they were a band. They just pretended they, were, <laughs> they weren't. And I thought, this is the same fucking band. And I walk to the edge because it's a world I know. Oh. Like, oh, oh. And that's that video, the video of the guy getting ready to jump off a building or something like that. Isn't something that the... fucking terrible. Still going to kill himself or something? A long way to run. Are these times contagious? Oh. I gotta purge it. I gotta purge it, dude. Well, you're in, you were you were stuck in St. Louis. You didn't know it was. It was How did I know? How did I know, know any better? How did you're I out know of your, you're out, you were out of your right mind. Out of my out of my right mind. Out of my elephant. How do, how are you supposed to know? I'm holding that shame with me forever. Well, we I'm all carry. We all carry. We all have crosses to bear. We do. Oh God! Yours is collective soul. <laughs> Just that one song. <laughs> I saw them open for Aerosmith, and it was a fucking... I was, like, fucking 15. I liked everything. I, or whatever. Six, I saw them open for Aerosmith. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Put an Aerosmith on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Heaven let your light shine down. Whoa. Ooh. Heaven let your light shine down. But now, here's the question. Do I like their worst song? But do you like their worst song because you didn't know who it was? No, but is that their worst song? Have I got a long way? Or is it? I think it's between that or in a walk to the end. Because it's a world I know. That might be their worst song. I and it was it, played I'll, so much. Oh, you couldn't get away from that. Couldn't get away from that song. But Jesus Christ, Eddie, there I was, like, nodding my head to, oh, Just like times contagious. Dude, and then everybody around was like, that dude's jamming out the collective soul. It's the collective soul. Let's go beat the shit out of him right now. <laughs> now, when I do my retro Rocha streams, I'll do the song quote of the day. Yeah. To see if they can. The rule is you can't Google. Okay. Usually they're pretty good at getting. I stumped the room. With collective soul? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. And then I, I almost lost every viewer right then and there when I said who it was. If I got a long way to run. Ooh. Ooh. It's bad. It's fucking bad, dude. It's fucking rough. Oh, if I it's got too bad. a long way <sighs> to run. That's mm. some rough shit. Yeah, there was some fucking. I don't know. Oh. Now. Finger blast song of the day. Since yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. Billy Idol. Eyes without a face. Wow. Who says no? Wow. Who says no? Who wow. says no? Who says no to that? Now, you right? got to be careful if you're playing like a cassette tape and it bleeds into the next Billy Idol song, you're going to lose the moment. You're losing the moment bad. You you're going to lose the moment real bad. Quick. You got to get in and out real fucking quick. You got to get in <laughs> Because you can't finger blast the Moni Moni. Moni. I don't think you can finger blast the Moni Moni. I no. don't know if you can do it. Dancing with myself, the masturbating song. Maybe no. Hot in the City. Hot in the city tonight. <laughs> There's no but, way you're fucking to Rebel Yell. No, you can't. In the Minata. Or, I mean, maybe. Well, cause that's, liter that's literally about fucking. Maybe. May do you maybe fuck to... Uh, What's the other giant one? Fuck. Ooh, hey, little sister, what have, what you, have you done? done? 
Are you yeah. finger banging nice the white wedding? Nice day for a white wedding. White wedding. Do you, are you, are you starting it? <laughs> wow. I think that's the only one of his. That's the only I think it's the only one you can finger bang, finger bang too. Yeah. But you got to move on, like you said. You got to move on quick. Don't it you? better be a mixtape. It, if it's a, if it's an it's, idol greatest ooh, hits, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. Let's. <laughs> I mean, because Blue Highway is the very next song. If you just have Rebel Yell on. Yeah. There's no way. And you're kind of you're screwed. No, there's no way. You're, you're done. Hot in the, so hot in the city. Hot what do you city. think? Is that have a chance to be? A I think that bang? I think you could finger hot bling that one. In the city. In the city. I think you finger banged it hot in the city. What about Shock to the System from Cyberpunk? I thought his last decent one. It's like a shock to the system. I don't oh, know yeah. if he, I don't know if that's a finger banger. That's a hand job. It might be a hand job. I think you can get a hand job at that song. Because <laughs> that's more aggressive. A hand job is more aggressive. Finger banging is far more delicate. It's more sensual. <laughs> but I think you could get a hand job to it. You can get a eat pregnant. Hand. Well, wait a minute then. Is it the perfect finger bang song? Because then you get taken care of with whatever comes next if it's a billion. There you go. I mean, yeah, you could do it. If you could if you could somehow get the mixtape going <laughs> where I said, yeah. Yeah, it's like where you go yeah. eyes without a face and then bam, right after that boom. you're getting boom. a hand job. Boom, ba, boom, ba, buddy, boom, ba, boom, ba, buddy. Hey, little sister, what, what have, have you done? done? Ooh. I mean, woo! You never know. So what, what's your pick, Eddie? Your Mine's a deeper pick. cut than okay. Billy Idol. All right. uh, it comes off the... It's a uh, collective soul run. It's not. We're coming full circle. We're God not going to come full circle on collective soul. We're going to leave that one where it is on the side of the road. <laughs> Do in your Central, finger blast It's Central that Park one. with a bicycle on top of if, it. <laughs> if it's Mohawk Storm wanting to finger blast to collective soul run. She makes up whatever it. rules she wants and I follow it. That's okay. what Mohawk Storm does. If she's like, hold on, let me play this song before we fuck it. Everybody knows that we are down, down. Dude, <laughs> it's Mohawk Storm. You have to. It's whatever Mohawk Storm wants, whatever Mohawk she... Storm gets. Keep your head hanging, keep your hanging, like, oh, whatever God. Mohawk Storm wants. Yeah, no, it's, yes, I'm with you. You don't go the rest of your life going, oh, I could have had a one night with Mohawk, Mohawk Storm. Storm. But, but she I, wanted to play she this. She wanted to play Creed, and I said no. I said no. No, you don't live with that regret. No, no you don't. You don't. All right. All right. So what is <laughs> Whatever Mohawk Storm wants is what Mohawk Storm gets. What is, what is your, what's your favorite uh, It one? comes from the uh, One Crazy Summer soundtrack. Oh! If you, if you remember that song, the John Cusack. Oh! It's the final, it's the title scroll song. It's the end of the song. It's What Does It Take by Honeymoon Suite. Oh, shit. Savage Steve Holland, by the way. Yeah. One crazy summer. Savage Steve. What does it take? It's Man. fucking savage. Savage, bro. Fucking uh, savage. He's fucking savage, bro. I'm just going to play a sample of it. Just so we oh, all I'm know. I, I know this one. This is a oh, fucking okay. jam. But Wait. wait. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And I think yeah. that's what the video, it's the two guys on the piano. One's on the keyboard, one's yes. on the clear piano. Yes, yes, Ooh. yes, yes. And it's the end of One Crazy Summer when the guy's been sitting there all summer long to try to win the radio contest. And he, yep. And he the wins, cousin. and he gets so excited, he rips the phone out of the thing. Yes, and he can't. Was it the And then they go to the next the caller. I think it was the uncle. Yeah, It was Booger, uncle. Booger's, the guy that played Booger's, uh, yeah. it was his uncle. Chris Armstrong. And, uh. He gets mad because he they get the caller, Rich Little, so the radio DJ goes to the next caller. And he's like, oh, we got to go to the next caller. And so he grabs the rocket launcher and fucking blows up the radio station. <laughs> you know what? If Savage I could Steve. grow wings, I would do it. Dude, you had fucking Demi Moore in that motherfucker. Oh, dude. It's a great that movie. That was one, one Crazy Summer is an great absolute movie. master. Is that the one with the Howard Cosell guy? Let yes. Me. Len, my wait, no, that was the no, no. One. That's uh, that's uh, any uh, 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 the love one. Um, it was the other Savage Steve Holland John Cusack movie. Yeah, what was it called? F Better off dead. Better off dead. Better Lay off dead. Maya. Lay yeah. Maya. Yeah, that was the other. Better off yeah. dead's another great one. It's another great one. Also with uh, Curtis Armstrong. Steve Steve Holland was savage. He's fucking savage, bro. He was. Savage Steve Holland was fucking it's fucking savage. Season. That's why they call him Savage, because he was savage, bro. He was savage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here savage, we go. bro. He, if, he, if, say, he says, like, racial slurs whenever he wants. He's savage. He's fucking savage. Um, 
All right, it's time. Probably what we've become known for in the podcast world, buddy. I think so. That's why we're the 39th ranked nerd podcast. Nerd pod, soon to be 38th. Can I say that? I think Can so. I, I think this. Policy? I think this upcoming segment will catapult us. Yes. To 38. Can we just stick our dick out and just say that? I think so. Uh, we're gonna cast the Thundercats. <laughs> And again, the rules are we're going to cast it. Right. As poorly. In the worst way possible. In the worst way possible. And now we can pick any actor alive or dead. Yes. Correct? That's yes. the rule, right? Any actor so. or political pundit. <laughs> alive or dead. All right. So I have two choices. Okay. Lion, though. Lion, okay. Uh, you tell me. You, you know, okay. I'm either for Lino. <laughs> Telly Savalas. Okay. A little old. That's her five-ish finkel. I see. I see Telly Savalas more as a panthera. Panther. I know. That's we're doing this as bad as possible though. <laughs> so. I have either Tally Savalas or Fiveish Finkel. Who do you who who are you looking at? I'm gonna Lionel. go Fiveish. I mean, personally, me. Yeah. I was thinking Charlie Kirk is Lion O. Because <laughs> he's got that innocence to him because he has that little baby face. That but he's got that mashed in. That, that looks mashed, mashed in. in baby face. And then when he pulls out the sword and Thundercat Thunder and he turns into Lion O. Oh, just a massive beast of a the beast. face sort of fills out and kind stretches out and kind of fills out the rest of the head it finally works so you can uh, have him play both uh, give me sight beyond sight <laughs> uh thunder cats thunder sort of thunder uh, give me sight beyond sight sort of omen sight beyond sight thunder thunder, thunder cats thunder, thunder, sex worker sex workers <laughs> oh i think i like that i think i think i think we go with that I think we go with that. Charlie Kirk is lying. All right, so you want my pick for Chief Chitara? Yes. Ethel Merman. Oh, I like that. Good call. <laughs> and I but don't they think give her, they give her no songs yeah. to sing. No and songs, <laughs> and I don't think they tell her what the role is. I think she has no idea what Thundercats is. Or the script. They give her no script. The no script. <laughs> she just has to roll with whatever. And I don't even think they put her in the makeup. I think they just roll no. her out there. <laughs> I don't think she's dressed like a cat or anything. Not the... <laughs> she's just clueless for the whole movie. The entire movie. She has no idea what's <laughs> fucking happening. Do you want my Tigra? Give me your Tigra. Yeah. Emmanuel Lewis. What do you think? Webster. I mean, you're going against type, but I like it. I see. That's... You're going hard against type. I like it, though. What do you, do you think you could do? Do you think you could pull that off? Emmanuel Lewis's Tiger. I think you could. I think you could. It'd be an acting stretch for him, for sure. <laughs> All right. What do you think about Panthro? We keep in the Webster family, and it's Alex Karras. Alex Karras is, is Panthro, yeah. I like it. Any changes you're making so far? No, Tiger those are solid. Lino, Ethel Merman is Jatara. Emmanuel Lewis is Tiger. <laughs> Alex Garris is Panthro. <laughs> are you just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, fuck. And I think, I think you make sure that Alex Garris has no sort of uh, stage combat training with the nunchucks. <laughs> But you put him into a nunchuck fight scene. You let him. You have. You give him no warning that there's going to be a, a nunchuck fight scene, and then he has to and do he's one. In. He's just in. And then he's got to do in. one. He's in. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I am. I'm kind of. 1A, 1B here with okay. Panthro and Snarf. Okay. 
I have Dan Deardorff. <laughs> Ooh. Can you argue with that? Dan Deardorff is. I mean, if, if, if people are going, it's okay, it's too similar to Karos' Panto, how about right. throw in Snarf, Al Michaels' is Snarf? Al Michaels' is Snarf! Only <laughs> do Al Michaels' is Snarf. But drunk old Al Michaels, not younger Al Michaels. The not drunk... that you believe in miracles, Al Michaels. No, the more the more recent, I don't give a shit about what I'm doing, Al Michaels. I could fucking care what I'm doing right now, Al Michaels. The fuck it, Al Michaels. So after two lines, he just stopped saying snarf at the end of every sentence. Like, now, cut. You're supposed to end every sentence by saying snarf, snarf. <laughs> Question, sentence, whatever. Whatever it is, got to end snarf, snarf. You have to go snarf, snarf, snarf. <laughs> And he just stares at you like, what do you feel? <laughs> I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing this shit. <gasps> All right. So, so far we have Charlie Kirk. As <laughs> 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 Ethel Merman as Chitara. Emmanuel Lewis as Tiger. Yeah. We're keeping it in the Webster family. Alex Karras as Panthro. Yeah. <laughs> Snarf. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the fuck it. Fuck it stage, Al Michaels. Not the who's, you... your, who's Wiley Cat? Who do you have as Wiley Cat? Oh. Wiley Cat, <laughs> Wiley Cat. Huh. Oh, boy, it's tough. This is, this this is a tough one. These are the kids. <laughs> I have my choice, but I don't think it's, I don't know. Full on MAGA Christian. Candace Cameron. That's who I have. No. That would be an interesting dynamic between her right. and... She'd be Wiley Kit. Wiley uh, Kit. Right. I think Kit was a girl. So Wiley Great. Kit. I I Wiley Cat. Candace Cameron Burr, whatever the fuck she right. calls herself now. So that's Wiley Kit. That's my Wiley Kit. Okay. Wiley Cat. Cat. It's Wiley Kit. Wiley Cat. <laughs> Is that where we bring in Telly Savalas? <laughs> To play a, kid, a little kid cat. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like hmm. that? Do you I like that. Do we, we, or do we go? Yeah, we think. You think Tully? I think we go with Tully. Let's go Tully. Savalas. That's Wiley Cat. <laughs> Wiley Cat. Snarf is Al Michaels. Alec Candace Harris Cameron or Candace Owens? Owens? Candace Owens. <laughs> That's it. Good change. Candace <laughs> Owens is Wiley Kid. <laughs> Telly Savalas is Wiley Cat. Al Michaels is Snarf. Panther is Alex Karras. Emmanuel Lewis is Tigra. Ethel Merman is Chitara. Lino is Charlie Kirk. Who is Mumra? Let's bring Mumra. it home. Who do you cast as Mumra? I mean, just popping in my head out of the blue, yeah. and we could we can debate this. We can change it. I was sure, just thinking sure. Bill O'Reilly right out of the top of <laughs> like right off the top of my head. But we can, that's up for debate if you can think of somebody else. <laughs> I I don't see how it's not him. I see uh, if you channel that back. anger. Next, we're going to have a. Coming no spin zone up. here. No spin zone. No spin zone here. Coming up. We're going to take on the Thundercats <laughs> next time. Fuck it. Hey. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do it live. Hey. <laughs> oh fuck! This is great. Is this is this the best one we've done? My it might God. be. It might but be. I mean, does I mean, this movie make more money than Deadpool Wolverine? Oh, really? Opening weekend for yourself. sure. <laughs> Imagine the trailer. <laughs> dun, 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 Thunder! Thunder! <laughs> Thunder! Being a Comic Con. And fucking Charlie Kirk, Ethel Merman, Emmanuel Lewis, Alex. <laughs> Jerry Bruckheimer comes out and introduces them all. <laughs> Al Michaels, <laughs> Dolly Savalas, Candace Owen, and Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> what are you doing? Thunder. 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 Thunder.
Well, Eddie, again, how we don't have the most subscribers, the most five star ratings, the most positive touch right. reviews than I any mean, other fucking. I, I just heard us move up one notch to thirty eight. So I 30, just heard yeah, that. Yeah, I just heard it too. Look so. at that, man. Subscribe to the Ramble. Five star rating. Positive text review. Mm. Um, and now, lastly, yeah, I, I think another segment that we're kind of famous for. Done yeah. dirty. Done right. The right move. Done, <laughs> done dirty or had to be done. Had to be done. Done, done dirty, dirty or had, had to be had done. To be done. And we decided today it's going to be Sergeant Slaughter going, <laughs> going full on Al Qaeda. <laughs> Back in the summer of 90, I think, 1990. It's about right. About right. Well, during a the. A lot of, lot of mortified G.I. Joe fans. Horrible. I, I mean, think. I, I think the Joes kicked him out like, at this point. What the fuck happened? Wait, what happened? Our beloved Sergeant Slaughter. He's a what now? To the, to the guy but at Comic Con. Getting jacked off bridge. by Dr. Mindbender yeah, will do that to it'll you. It'll do, they'll fuck you up. At least, at least our guy dedicated to the fridge didn't go that far. At least no. the fridge never had the Al- the Al Qaeda heel turn. The fridge never the did a turncoat move. Turn. He never he was never no. a traitor to the country. Now, when McMahon yeah. did that, McMahon Dr. did that. Jerking off. <laughs> it snapped. Something snapped in him. <laughs> you know, I think I gotta hear these guys out. <laughs> Where were the Joes? Where were the Joes? Where were the Joes? When Destro was blowing me, where were the Joes? <laughs> These guys are saying things that need to be said. They when got De- everybody else's DNA said. They got hair for everyone else. They took my jizz. Where were the Joes? That's his whole thing. Where were the Joes? Where were they? When Destro was dressed like the Baroness. Where and were the Joes? My and sucking my dick. Made Make... me think I was eating out the Baroness's pussy. It was Destro's asshole. Where were the Joes? <laughs> oh, sna- he snapped. He snapped. Eddie, I think had to be done. Because... Okay, well, let's look at what, let's set up the stage for what happened. This was off the heels of Ultimate Warrior. Beating Hogan. Hogan. but Being, being the man. But not being able to work. I guess McMahon and him had contract disputes, right? Like he wasn't yep. l- doing what he was supposed to do. So they had to take the title off of him. Right. But they didn't, but back then you couldn't have... I guess Hogan wasn't ready to come back or something like that. And so they needed you, at the same time, you're still too big to have, he's still probably too big to have him come and do a heel turn. Right. So okay. you had, so at that Royal rumble, he ultimately wrestled, uh, <laughs> Sergeant slaughter, but that whole summer leading up was during the uh, Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. And I guess it was just, they slaughter needed turned his back on us. He turned his back on it because he was broken. Because where were the Joes? Where were the Joes? (laughs) I guess they, because they they didn't have a big heel. And this guy just squashed Nemesis Enforcer a couple of years earlier. With with his bare hands. Who, what, of course this is our guy. Because I'm trying to think at the time, who were the big baddies? That Hogan, well, freaking typhoon, but they right, even, Mr. Perfect, they, but Hogan had already run through he him. Already kinda, he already kind of killed Mr. Perfect's run. Because literally, right. Hogan up to that point, they had run through all. There was no good heels right. to face Warrior to get that strap off of him. Right. So they had to invent one. I mean, you would someone to get a lot of heat to get a lot of heat. So Sergeant Slaughter, being a military guy, right, turning. God, I think it had to be done. It was a right. I think it was had to be done. I think it had to be done. And I don't know if he was done dirty because they did give him the WWF title, which he never held. He got the belt for that. He, and he had a and sizable he run. It. He's back with the Joes. He, he went back. It. He went, had some counseling and talked it out. <laughs> Probably let him know how much they hurt him at a big round table. Where were the Joes? Where were you? I think Scarlet and Lady J just kind of let him see, it, showed him their. Maybe tits they gave him a little, little, little titty action. action. Like, all right, you're back in the fold. Oh well, there we 
I think had to be done. I think had to be done. Right. Had to be done. Bringing Hogan back. You had to make him. He's Hogan at the time. Come back. He's Mr. America. You had to. He had to. And then they fuck it all up again by giving Warrior Chance 3,000. And then that, when Bret Hart was just sitting there. But yeah, yeah, that's. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels are both sitting there and they're just like, let's keep having these buffoons wrestle each other. These guys. Oh, man, what a ramble, Eddie. Ramble 407 mm-hmm. in the books. We're going to be back Friday for Ramble Radio, maybe with Alt-Right Cody. I mean, I doubt it, but maybe. He's having we'll a see. rough one, but maybe. We will. We Next will. Ramble, we're going to do The Darkest Hour. Whoopi Goldberg, a lot of choices. She's Ooh. someone who's recovered, too. Yeah. She's doing great. She's recovered, but boy, was there a lot. There was there. some moments. There was some moments. We're going to do Gumble Love. And look, the reason I brought both these guys up was to tease. The steel cage is being lowered. It's Alex Karras. It's Dan Deardorff. Ooh. Who, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> mm. it's, it's a stall of fame battle. It is. This might be our first stall of fame battle. Head it to head might stall be our of fame first battle. head to head. Alex Karras versus Dan Deardorff. Wow. Oh, on Ramble 408. Subscribe. Give it a five-star rating, a positive text review. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. Mm. Until next time, we love you all. Stay safe out there. Take care, everybody. Bye.